All right, I have destroyed my phone. Now, okay, so for the legs, you're going to want to equip either Torag's legs or Varax skirt or basically anything that you want to equip, but you want high defense. Um, so you can have Torax helm, Varax helm, or any other helm, and then you're going to have uh, Varax skirt if you can. If you can't, dragon skirt, dragon plate legs, doesn't matter. If you're going to use dragon, I would suggest dragon skirt because you don't want to die and... I mean, if you want to bring dragon plate legs because you think skirts are retarded, then go ahead, but I brought a skirt. So, for your body, you're going to want to bring a Sam Sarah Doman dragon hide blessed body thing. So, it's that blue thing. This will keep the Sarah guys from attacking you. And I'm pretty sure the Bandos guys don't do anything. So, basically, you're going to have Torag Helm, Armadil Pendant. You're going to want to have an Accumulator, which for some reason I did not bring. Oh, wait, here it is. You're going to want an Accumulator. For your ammo, you're going to either have Broad Bolts or you're going to have Mithril Bolts. And for your weapon, you're definitely going to want to bring Crossbow. And for a shield, if you can use a DFS, I would suggest you bring a DFS. At the time, I couldn't, so I brought an Obby Shield. Or this Rune Kite Shield will work just as fine, or just as well. Um, you're going to want to bring the Armadillo Pendant. And you can, yeah, don't just, just, this is the only ammo you're going to want. Um, and then the, yes, like I said, Ceridome body, Dragon or Varax plate skirt, and then Zamorak van braces. Your inventory, um, oh yeah, your ring, ring of life. Definitely want to bring one of those ring of life. Yeah, you don't want to fail face here. All right, so for your inventory, you're going to want a couple things. First, you're going to want like a hundred nature runes and I'll explain that a little bit later you're gonna want a fire staff you're going to want about a hundred GP and you're gonna want one of these bones to peach tab um, another tab for just basically anywhere else you wanna go or whatever you want a range pot and I would suggest you bring I have a shark but monkfish are just as fine because you're not going to really need those too much. Um, if you really want to, you can bring a super defense potion, but you don't have to. Now, this is a setup for someone who's going to, or who meets the requirements. Like, if you're not a peer and you're like a tank or something like that. But if you're a peer, then I would suggest high prey bonus gear. You're still going to want, that's the Sarah and stuff, so you're going to want, like, um, to bring, like, a Cozier Ko or something like that. You're going to want to bring those and some other stuff, like a Sarah book or a Zami book, and just basically fill all those requirements. And you're still going to want the Armadil Pendant. Um, and then what else you're going to want to bring is a lot of Prey Potions, like Prey Pots. You're going to need a whole bunch of those, otherwise these guys will pwn you. So, yeah, you're gonna. That's basically your setup and the inventory. Why you need the nature runes? These guys drop a lot of good stuff. They'll drop Addy bars that are noted, and they're four. And they usually drop one set of Addy bars every four kills, so it's almost like one bar per kill. And it's actually really close to that. I mean, if I go 1k, I'll usually end up with like sometimes more and sometimes less, but it usually evens out at one bar per kill. Now, the. Staff of Fire and the Nature Runes is for Alking. Surprisingly, yes, you will be Alking because they do drop like Rune Limbs and Rune Daggers, which are totally useless to you since you're there and they take up your inventory space. So you're just going to Alk them. And you'll get like a couple hundred K cash if you stay there and it's actually really, really good. So, yeah. And then those, I don't know the drop rate for those, but they drop pretty often. Um, you're gonna want, like, I don't know, maybe four range pots, depending on how long you plan to stay there. The rest of your inventory, other than the bones to peach tabs, and, the, um, yeah, other than the bones to peach tabs and the your t teleport out of there, you're gonna want all food. Now, the reason you need the bones to peach tabs is because when you do run out of food, since you won't be praying, you shouldn't pray in there if you have good enough defense, just save it, um, you're gonna fill your inventory with bones. Like, every time you use a food, pick up a bone. Because when you run out of food, you're going to use this, and it'll turn all the bones in your inventory to peaches, which you'll leave nine. 
So it's actually really good, and you're going to want that. Um, yeah, this is basically like a setup. I mean, I could probably make an entire video on just how to do AVNCs, but this is just a quick overview. I might do that later. But you're going to need the climbing boots because you have to walk over these things. So you're just going to run, 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 run through all of this, and you just keep on going all the way till you get that place where they chuck rocks at you, and um, just follow this path. You really can't get lost, and I'll see you back. All right, so once you get here, um, you're just gonna follow this, and you're gonna run, 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 and you need a rope too. By the way, I forgot to mention that you need a rope to get down to the dungeon. I'm not going to keep going because I do not want to get pwned with my party hat on. So you will just run, and there's a tiny path right there which you can see. You're gonna run into there. Your run and pretty much everything else is gonna get drained. Um, well, actually, just your run's gonna get drained, and then. Just go, like, continue going northeast. You'll see a dungeon. Go down that. There you go. Avon Seeds should be straight forward when you get down there. Actually, it, it's just right around you. Just run around and you'll find them. There's, like, huge clots of them. Um, that's actually where I made, like, 30 mil. Not really. I, I made, like, 30 mil from there to, like, see, here's a dude running there. I think he's doing Desert Treasure, but whatever. So, yeah, I, you can make as much money as you want here. If you stay here to, like, 99 range from 80, you're going to get so much money that you're just going to be throwing money at people. Y no, you're not going to have that much, but you're going to have a lot of money, and you'll be able to buy a whole shitload of party hats. Now, um, this is one way to do it, which is actually the way that I did. I didn't go all the way to 99, though. I got to, like... I don't know, I, I just did it in, like, random chunks. Like, I'd come, and then I'd leave. Then I'd come, and then I'd leave. Um, but the other thing you're going to want to do is, when you're done, if you don't want to do it this way, and you just want to get it really fast, is you can chin. Now, people have told me, please don't talk about chinning, but I'm going to anyways, because I did, in fact, chin. I did chin from, like, 96 to, like, 99. Um, what you want to do... For chinning is just bring your entire void set, bring a fury, ring of life, snakeskin boots, chins, pots. I mean, you can just go watch a chin guide or something. But uh, a lot of people used to chin at the monkeys, like near Monkey Madness, but I really didn't like it there because when you died, or if you died, you really couldn't get your stuff back. So I chinned at the mummies, which are in the tunnels north of Edgeville. Yeah, um, you can find a guide to tell you how to do that. So basically, this is how I got to 99 range. Let's do a recap. So from 1 to 20, I did cows and stuff. It really, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then from there on, I did rock crabs pretty much all the way to 70. Not really, to like 60. And then from 60 to 70, I PC'd back when you could. If you can't, just train at the rock crabs or the experiments all the way to 70. From 70 to 80 or 85, or all the way to 99, you can do Fire Giants, and those are in the waterfall. If you don't want to do that, once you get to 85 or 80, you can go to Avian Seas, which is what I did, and you can get a whole bunch of money. And, yeah, and then if you really don't want to do that, then you can always chin. However, it does take, like, 30 mil something to get to 99 range from, I believe it's, like, 90. So it takes a lot of money. If you don't have that much money, don't do it. But you will definitely, like, I made up for that money when I did Avian Seas. All the money, like, I only used, like, a fraction of the money that I made from Avian Seas to Chin. It, it's really, it's really good. I, I would suggest doing that. That's what I did. And please stop following me. All right. Um, so that's basically my guide on 1 to 99 range. And I did not get 99 range when they had Soul Wars. Alright, I lied. I Yeah, I got it when they had Soul Wars. But I didn't really do Soul Wars a lot. Because I, I, just, I just don't like the game. I like Pest Control better. And I really hate Jagex for screwing up Pest Control XP when I did this. So, please, if this guy helped you. Or if you had no idea how to train range. But you wanted money. And you thought you were going to lose money chinning. And this new guide has helped you not lose money chinning. Then, please let your friends know. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, purple.